Firstly, for me, this entire lifting of this immunity was done in very, very, very bad faith. There's no question about it. I am not, and nobody in Zambia is saying that uh, we want to condone corruption in our country. If uh, President Rupia Banda has committed any crimes against the state, he should be brought to book, but in the proper system, the proper manner. There's a way in which we should be following a procedure, not a situation where it looks to everybody that this is vengeance. This is what I call, you know, they are showing, showing all the signs of political vengeance against somebody because of the way they went and removed his uh, immunity. Totally illegal. Just because somebody in State House wants the men to be brought to book, they are quickly doing whatever they need to do in order to bring him here, to humiliate him. But they don't understand that by humiliating him in such a manner, they are humiliating also a lot of people in our country, which is Zambia. So we say, you know, we say, yes, if you want to bring Rupia Bandas, if you want to remove his immunity, there is a procedure to follow. It is not to be followed a situation where it must go through State House. State House must decide how, when and why. That is not what we, are, we have fought for all along in this country for our independence. So we want law and order. And we think also that, I think it, if you are talking about sorting out corruption in this country, SATA should organize and sort out corruption within his own government. You can't have a situation where you are charging Rupia Banda for stealing oil. In the meantime, you have companies which are also organizing oil deals in this new setup. This is totally wrong. And, you know, I, me as a, you know, as, as a person that has uh, got the interest of the people of this country at heart, you know, I will continue to fight hard until I see absolute freedom of everybody in this country. The judiciary must be set up in a way where people are innocent until you are proved guilty. Not guilty, and then you, are, you have to go to court to prove that you are innocent. So that, my brother, uh, you know, is a very short issue. I can tell you that people are very, very, very upset. And in fact, in addition to that, I'm a president of a political party here in Zambia. I'm among the political parties which travel to South Africa. This is our country. We are in trouble. And we need even the outside world to help us. We have a situation in Zambia where people accused, accused, appearing before court for theft, for corruption, for ordering documents. Even the court has found them guilty of those crimes. And these are the people driving the wheel of justice in this country. I mean, I cannot hide. Look at the DPP we have in this country. He's a man riddled with serious criminal cases. We have been to President Sutter. We have asked President Sutter, why don't you bring these people before the court of law that they can be cleared? Prince has felt. And what we believe, what we believe has happened in this country is that a bunch of criminals supported this government. They financed this government on a condition that they should be given key positions in the system. And true to that, we have now a cartel. This cartel is not only controlling the president himself at State House. The special assistant is from the Post newspaper. The government spokesperson is from the same cartel. The DPP is from the same cartel. And you can even see, even our speaker of the National Assembly is part of this cartel. So we have a cartel, a bunch of criminals controlling this country. And President Sutter, I will challenge him at all points. Every time I'm given a platform, I've challenged him. If you run a clean government, a corrupt free government, why don't you allow the will of justice to clear the key people in your government? So really, prevention is better than cure. I, I Zambia to, is in trouble. I want to just add one thing. I think what we can see clearly here, my brothers and sisters, clearly, we can see clearly that this government is doing everything possible to drive this country into a one-party state system. We can see that clearly. What they want to, us to do is to react from the way they are ill-treating the people of this country. 
And the moment we react, then they will come in with the police force and say, you know, we have decided to bring in the state of emergency. So now that the state of emergency is in, yes. it means simply there's no more elections in our country. We have been 20, through this 27 years with the Kaunda regime. Exactly. But I've, I've, agi I've, I've agitated to the people of this country. We must not and never ever fail, you know, uh, to remain peaceful and calm because we don't want to be caught in that hook. These people, come the next election, we must do everything we possibly can to ensure that they leave office. And I also I want to appeal to the international community to please look at what is happening in Zambia. Help us. Begin to start isolating some of these leaders of ours who are corrupt. Don't look after them and give them platforms in your country. Don't. While they are raking money from here, they are busy banking in other in European countries. That is out. It's taboo. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. you see, my comment, which I want to place on record, uh, is uh, at the rate democracy in Zambia is going. After 20 years that it has anchored in our nation, PF came to power on the promise of people's freedoms and liberties, people's money in their pockets, but what we are getting is that they have failed to meet the people's aspirations and now they are diverting attention. They have moved on removing people's freedoms, no right to assemble, no right to speech, no right to criticize. And the media in this country, although I'm talking to you, the media is highly compromised. What I'm saying right now cannot appear in the Daily Mail, in the Times of Zambia, in the Post. So we have no more peace. And the outside world thinks all is well in Zambia. There is nothing that is going on well. The removal of Arabi's immunity, you can see how feverish the charges were, campaign material. And for that he must pay. Because only PF must function. Only PF sympathizers must function. We are demanding our liberties and freedoms back. It's high times we got them back. And we want the police to go back to their barracks. They are not part of the citizenry in terms of our daily today daily lives no everywhere you go you have to look over your shoulder to see who is listening who is talking no the police must go back to their units to their mobile units to their offices and leave us with our freedoms they must give us the freedom we fought for in 1991 thank you very much